Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today is the 6th of uh, uh, December uh, 2010 and uh, uh, happy trading to you all. Uh, London is open, okay? And as we were saying to you last uh, uh, Friday, we were expecting the Euro USD uh, to pull, to give us uh, what we call uh, a healthy uh, pullback, okay? And uh, that pullback is happening right now, as you can see during the Asia session, the euro was pulling back nicely. Uh, I hope uh, <laughs> the crazy, uh, uh, the crazy uh, stochastic traders will allow the euro to to pull back uh, up to the one three three zero zero region. Okay, that would be the best place uh, uh, for the to for the euro to pull back to one three three zero zero. Hopefully, uh, the crazy uh, stochastic uh, uh, traders will allow uh, the euro to give us a nice pullback to 13300. If the euro fail uh, to find a support in a zone of 13300, the next target for the euro is uh, the first uh, target will be in a region of 13246. If that region also fail, it will come down up to 13200. Uh, that remain to be seen so uh, we are expecting uh, a healthy pullback up to the region of 13300 okay uh, if uh, the crazy uh, stochastic traders uh, do not uh, uh, stop uh, this price coming to this level because uh, most of the slow stochastic are right now oversold so most of the those people who are using the stochastic uh, willy-nilly will be so desperate to buy this uh, euro usd but the best place for the euro to pull back to is the 13300 if that level fell to give uh, the euro uh, the support needed today it will come down to 13246 if the 13246 fail to hold the euro uh, the next target will be 13200 as you can uh, uh, see on this uh, uh, chart here uh, we know also that the level of 13200 which i'm going to double uh, underline for you here is the psychological level 13200 is a very important uh, psychological level for the euro usd i'll call it that red here for you if that level fail uh, to give the euro the, the support uh, that will be a kaput for this uh, uh, uptrend completely okay so remember the psychological level for the euro usd is uh, 13200 uh, as a trader you must uh, memorize those uh, important uh, psychological level i hope uh, you enjoyed this video also uh, that you will put into practice uh, in order to cream uh, this uh, uh, market uh, uh, consistently i just want to show you one more thing quickly as we were mentioning last uh, uh, friday uh, the, the volume uh, compared to this uh, activity here as i highlighted for you earlier on on friday night okay i was telling you that all these things are late comers these are late coming desperate uh, tra uh, traders okay so they pu just pushing the price up here because uh, the target for the euro is to stop here and to give us a healthy pullback uh, but uh, people drag it drag it drag it drag it on that's what i'm saying to you if you receive a signal to sell sometime in the uptrend you know that the uptrend uh, is weakening you will see people coming in last minute trying to push the price up so you must wait for those people which mean uh, paying attention to other participants in the market to allow them to do what they want to do before when you receive a clear cut signal to sell uh, that you can sell these are the late coming desperate late coming even though right here everything has finished and the euro at that particular point should give a healthy pullback but uh, the people were so desperate that they miss something and uh, they push it drag it drag it you can see the activity the language of the price here is telling us that it's all blah 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 and uh, the volume indicator also has confirmed to us it's all blah 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 but looking at the price itself here this is not bullish at all all this candle up and down the week uh, all this the the harness or the thing going on here you know straight away and this particular candle here if you pay attention to this one this is what we call the exhaustion candle this candle here okay i will try to uh, uh show you exactly which one i'm talking about uh this one here this is i'll put the arrow to it okay 
this uh, green candle here this is uh, a typical exhaustion candle here okay you see the movement here as you can see on this chart if i go a little bit deeper for you so you can understand what i'm talking about uh, there was inverted head and shoulder here on this uh, four hour chart for the euro usd okay the target was exactly at this uh, uh, level here uh, the target according to the inverted head and shoulder uh, is uh, if you draw the neckline uh, in this uh, uh, zone i'll draw the neckline here for you i will hold on a second uh, now if you draw the neckline in this region here okay where i put uh, this uh, uh, line here okay this horizontal line uh, the target uh, was in this uh, uh, level here okay the target was exactly in this uh, uh, region here okay that's where the target was and exactly there that's where this uh, candle uh, has uh, uh, terminated okay this candle here okay the tall one here so in fact last friday the euro should retrace back to give a healthy pullback but as you can see the late came and realized that the euro start going up as we were telling them the previous friday that they should look for opportunity to buy people were desperately selling the euro like uh, mad traders even though nobody is mad okay so to speak and uh, they should give a healthy pullback for an uptrend to be healthy he must breathe in and breathe out very important but some of the traders do not understand that language of the price the price must breathe in and breathe out in the downtrend also is very important even though the market is going down for a rally to allow more sellers into the market the same thing when the price is going up we want a desperate pullback a healthy pullback to allow more uh, buyer into the market and when the price give a pullback we will analyze that uh, pullback in order to verify whether the bulls are still in charge and then when we notice that the bull are still in charge we re-enter uh, the uptrend this is the language of the price breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out during a trending period in the consolidation period we have a clear cut uh, two levels that we are watching carefully so this is all this activity is all the blah 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 and then when the, long, the market opened yesterday we did uh, a post information on twitter that we are expecting the euro to come to 13300 which is coming to right now as i'm speaking to you if i go to the five minute chart you see the activity that is uh, uh, happening right now on this uh, live chart uh, the euro is uh, uh, coming slowly uh, but surely into the region of uh, uh, 133 uh, zero, uh, zero. Okay, so this is the the, the first uh, 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 target. Okay, uh, watching the euro. The first uh, uh, target for the euro is uh, uh, one three three zero zero. We are expecting the euro to find a support there. If it fail to find a support there, as I told you, the next level will be one three two uh, uh, four uh, six. Okay, if that one three two four six also fail. The next psychological level, as we know for the euro, is 13200. This is a very important level, 13200. If that level fell, <laughs> we'll, the euro will be in a serious uh, uh, trouble and we'll put a question mark in all this uh, uptrend. I hope you enjoyed this video that uh, you put into practice uh, in order to cream the market consistently. When the euro touches the 13200, we must pay attention carefully and reserve the price here using the TSTW24, switching back to the first preferred time frame of the TSTW24 in order to examine the validity of uh, uh, the, the turnaround here. Do not just buy here like other traders are doing because it touches support level, but we have the tool to examine exactly what is happening here in order not to get into the trap of entering a fake uh, 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 turnaround, okay? Until the next time, okay? Enjoy yourself and uh, be uh, very happy. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.